Okay, kicking it off with part two. I'm going to try to not have this one be as long as the first one, but we'll see. So part two is going to encompass this side of my room. That's like where most of my stuff is. And then that side of my room. So this side we have uh, art from friends and such. Yeah, pretty cool. And then we have my Tomy collection, which I have been working on for two decades. Because when Pokemon first came out, I was like, I love it. And then my mom was like, I will buy you some of these figures. And I got the Pikachu and the Raichu. And those are my first two figures. And I still have them. Because even as a little kid, I took really good care of my stuff. So this is a, a Lugia that she got me as a kid also. I got out of school. I was like in first or second grade and I came out to the car and she's like Katie I have a surprise for you and I look in the back and it's this Lugia and I was like yo <laughs> so cool my mom was very very nice to me and uh helped me collect Pokemon but so here's Tomy shelf number one I have too many Tomys to name them all I'm not going to even bother doing it um I have I finally bought Nidoqueen and she's on the way, and this is for Needle Queen because Needle Queen is very hard to find and very expensive. These two spots are because I have an extra of uh, Trico and Sceptile, and I'm going to paint them shiny. But, oh my god, really? Snivy. Oh, oh no. I had them all dusted and set up in a beautiful way before I took this video. There we go. Anyway, that Butterfree's from when I was a kid. He lost his antenna, but, you know, I still kept him because he's cute. Uh, yeah, I was saying, my Tomy collection is almost complete. Uh, Nidoqueen is coming. And then one day, one day, I will find a good condition Nidorino. And then that will be, like, every Tomy figure that I want. And again, I've been working on my Tomy collection since I was 10. So, like, this is a big achievement, and I'm very excited. I've got some pretty rare ones, like uh, the Mighty Anna. Is pretty rare. Togekiss is a bit medium rare. Zigzagoon. Ooh, I knocked Lucario over. Zigzagoon. This one. This guy right here was like a hundred fucking dollars that I had to save for like a month to buy that guy, because for some reason you just can't find him. Uh, Fanfi and Don Fan are pretty hard to find too. Uh, Natu and Zatu. Also pretty rare. Star Raptor, I painted shiny, and that uh, Skarmory, I also painted shiny, but uh, I got the colors kind of wrong, so I'm going to repaint him one of these days. Sometimes if I have two of them, like with these Houndour, that was a bootleg Houndour, so I just painted it shiny, because, you know, why not? All right, and then we have the miscellaneous small Pokemon figures. I've got some Zoocons, um, and uh, kids' figures. Uh, and these are the Pokemon scale, scale World ones. I would really love to get the Scale World Nidoqueen, but that is, like, it only comes as part of a set. And the set is, like, $200, and I'm like, no thanks. Don't want it that bad. <laughs> a lot of these little ones are from the, um, it says Mokuro's Garden. That's uh, Rowlet's Garden in English. Uh, Rowlet's Garden campaign from, like, three or four years ago, it was all about bird Pokemon, and I was so happy. Okay, so this is like guidebooks and stuff. I got some rare ones here too, uh, especially, where is it? Digimon World 3. That one these days, so hard to find. It's like ridiculous. I'll move my Meowth. I have some other like small like magazines. I got like some Neopets magazines, you know, uh, and then, like, the the old official Pokemon handbook. If you were an American kid into Pokemon, you probably saw that in uh, the store when you were young. Okay. Ooh. Zoid's cabinet. Uh, up top, we've got awesome Dragon Lord figure. And behind him is a, another Metal Aquabus poster. Uh, and then I have my uh, Lego Zero in its own little case. 
And then we've got the H&M Zoids. I'm not going to spend too much time on these because I've shown a lot of my Zoids cabinet in a past video, except I did get my Berserk Fury, like I said that I wanted to. And then I also got the Storm Sorter, which is one of my favorites because I think uh, Toronodons are really cool. But yeah, so Zoids cabinet. I love this guy because he glows in the dark. And so every night I lay in my bed and when I turn off the light, I look over and I can see him uh, even with my glasses off and it makes me smile. And then I have like a bunch of manga back there and then some small books from a YouTuber I like called Muse and he's really cool. If you like Silent Hill stuff, you should check him out. Um, then we've got, uh, there is a Digimon World 3 poster that came with that rare guidebook that I mentioned. Um, that's a bunch of Neopets plushies. The, uh, plushie Shoiru and the Striped Loop are, uh, super expensive and very hard to find and a lot of these little digimon beanies like some of them i have had since i was a kid like the coromon and the upamon which you can barely see back there behind patamon uh those i've had since i was a kid but the other ones i either found a good deal on ebay or i bought from someone who was like downsizing their collection speaking of collections here is wholesomeon i like wholesomeon a lot because it's a griffin and it's cool and then here's galmon and i don't know why i like galmon so much i just think he's really cute but look at this guy Look at his face. Um, I'm missing though. I really want to find it. It hasn't popped up on eBay, which makes me sad. But uh, see these guys um, on the little like uh, stands, I guess. Uh, there's a Galmon one because then it's equals Galmon and then Galgamon and um, uh, Galgamon. I haven't seen the um, Galmon one in over five years on eBay, so I don't know. Inside that book is a bunch of, like, Galmon and uh, his line, um, all all of his evolutions uh, cards. But again, when it comes to cards, I'm not going to open it because it will take a long time. Really hard to find. Neopets figurines. Uh, Monster Rancher figures. Phoenix is super rare. And that's why it is in a Pokemon stand. You know what? I should see if it fits. I should switch, and I should put Nido Queen in this one, and then put the the Phoenix in the little square one if it fits in there, because you know, this one's a Pokemon one, and yeah. Anyway, I painted these these four because I had extras again, like in lots. I would get extra tigers, and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna like paint the other types of tiger that I don't have. So I did. Um, Legend Soul Dolls. Big fan of Legends. There's a little drawing back there from my friend Dandy on the Legends Discord. He is a cool guy. Then we've got the Digimon shelf. And I actually have completed my Digimon collection. So I have every Digimon figurine that I want to have. So once I get that Nidorino, then I can also say that for my Pokemon collection. And again, most of these, like the majority of these, I've had since I was a kid. So like 20 years. And I've taken really good care of them. So, yeah. And then down here is more Digimon. Um, these guys are new, the Capsule Monster series, and they stopped making them. They stopped it right before they were going to get to the series that had Kakatorimon, and I'm going to be forever salty about that because I'm like, seriously? Like, you made... you you Why? I, work, I want Kakatorimon! He's my favorite! But no. No, they stopped. I have two Gobumons, so I'm... He's not done, as you can see, but I'm making one black Gobumon. I need to do that side of him. But, uh, looks pretty cool as Black Goblin, or he will when I'm done. Uh, yeah. And then we've got up here, um, along the side, there's just some boxes that I've kept, you know, because eventually I'll be moving and then I will want to put them away. Um, or Kenzie, are, are you surprised? Uh, Bean Babies, because, you know, why not? Um, let's see more Bean Babies. <laughs> Kenzie? Kenzie? And I don't remember who did that, but it's, it's gorgeous mega Pidgeot. So. And then we've got um, Life Size Appleton, one of my favorite things that I own. I love it so much. The Charmander and Bulbasaur I've had since I was a kid. And the Squirtle my mom found, like, within the last five years. So now I actually have all the Kanto starters, which is pretty cool. And then, um, I think it Labramon's baby form. I want to say it's Palmon. I might be completely wrong. Something like that. 
Okay, and then we get over here. Um, there's a shelf way up there with some um, various uh, personal stuff that I've gotten and Ginga stuff. So, you know, dogs, doggos, um, Hagen Rainacker stuff. Ooh, buddy, why are you falling over there? I just dusted you. Everything should be perfect. Why is there a long hair here that looks like a hair from my dog? Thanks, Badger. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Um, I used to go to the Amana colonies with my grandma and my brother, and they would have, some of the stores would have these little ceramic figurines, and they're, they were called Hagen Reinacker, uh, figures, Hagen Reinacker collection. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but, um, they were little animals, and so every time I see those, I think of my grandma and the Amana colonies. Um, she got me those wolves, and, uh, I think she got me some of... She might have got me one of these. No, 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 she didn't. No, she got me this dragon. That's right. At the House on the Rock. All this Egyptian stuff is from the Smithsonian. When my mom and I went there, um, she was... Is that in Chicago? Am I completely mixing it up? What's the famous museum in Chicago? I got these at that place. I don't know what it's called. But, um, yeah. Uh, and they had a section where it was like, oh, it's broken, so it's like 50% off. And so, like, this cat was broken and the top of that statue's missing. And I was like, I'll fucking buy those. Hell yeah. So I did. And I, I enjoy them. They're very pretty. And they're actually made in Egypt. Come on, focus. There it is. Oh, oh no. Doing this with my left hand, that's bad. Okay, let's get that one. Um, this is Hot full keychains, and then Tiny Bird Garden stuff. Tiny Bird Garden is an indie game, and it's awesome, and it's all about birds, and they can wear hats. So, you know, if that sounds appealing to you, check it out. Um, Pokemon, Digimon, cards, Kenzie Art, surprise. <laughs> um, and more Hot full stuff over there. There's where I've cut off the, uh... Zoids boxes, the front of the Zoids boxes, and made them kind of posters and stuff. There's another piece of art by Mew. Mew is great. We've been friends for a long time. Um, and then these are actually clear files. I think that's what they're called. Clear file folders. Um, you know, you're supposed to like put documents in them, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna display them because the art is pretty. You know, this is one of my newest ones of the Hisui region from Legends Arceus because it's great. Um, and then here's some um, from Pokemon Channel, which is a terrible game, but I love it anyway. <laughs> um, nice cards. And uh, I recently got these. I don't remember the artist there. You can see their name right there. But it's a shiny charm and a oval charm. I thought that was really cute. And another uh, Rowlet's Garden uh, piece of merchandise with all of the birds all right i think that's it you know because we did the whole thing and yeah so um i know this is probably taking up an hour of your time at this point but thank you for watching if anybody did right cookie yeah okay all right well yeah so this is um this is my place and at night, I guess I can do this. It's not gonna get the right effect because Cookie is still in the window. <sighs> Cookie, we're gonna put the shade down for a second. There. Yeah, it doesn't get the right effect, but um, I lay in my bed and then I can look and see, and it's it's really nice. The lights uh, frame my collection. Very nicely. So this is the view I see in bed every night. And it makes me smile and I feel like a dragon guarding its horrid cold. <laughs> okay, bye.